Someone could be caught. You've just seen the uh, film which we were lucky to be on the back of the ship when uh, the incident happened and now uh, Channel 4 News is on the bridge and here's uh, Captain Bradford. Yeah, well, welcome to uh, Channel 4 News. Uh, now some days, of course, after we've had the uh, fire, but uh, I'd like to take this opportunity of thanking everyone on board who took part and helped when we had our little moment of drama. Without doubt, the... Uh, prompt warnings we had, plus the fire parties that dealt with the fire save what could have been a far more serious fire. Of course, uh, we've had an inquiry that we're required to do so by the company during uh, instances like this. To ascertain the cause of the fire, well, it's impossible to say what caused it, except that we had stores burning in the Sea Deck area, and uh, we consider in all probability that this was started by a cigarette end. If you remember, some months ago, we had a fire in the laundry. Here again, we considered that this was also due to uh, a cigarette end. So what I would ask everyone in the ship, particularly smokers, when they come along from the accommodation through sea deck, just don't stub your cigarette out onto the deck or throw it down onto the deck put it in an ashtray or a receptacle that uh, there are plenty of them in the ship. Okay, Captain Bradford, I believe that a couple of the ship's company uh, who were there at the start of the fire uh, suffered minor injuries. Uh, is this correct? Yeah, that, that is correct. It's most unfortunate indeed because uh, what happened is that the alarms were given. Alwyn and Taft were down there. Alwyn went to get a fire extinguisher and then slipped, but uh, if this hadn't have happened, Alwyn could quite well have uh, managed to contain the fire. It just goes to show that uh, if immediate action is taken by a crew member after he or she gives the alarm, this very often can save uh, a fire. Thank goodness that uh, they're both progressing well and we hope to see them uh, back with us again at the weekend. One other thing, uh, John, that uh, you may not uh, realize, we're halfway through Alaskan cruising at this weekend, and what I'd like to do is to see as many of you as can possibly get to the after deck on Sunday at 12 o'clock. I'm not going to guarantee the weather. Um, if it's anything like we've had, it'll probably be a little bit on the cool side, but uh, come well padded, dare I say, bring your oil skin as well, and we should have a uh, rather... Uh, a liquid lunchtime session. So once again, uh, look forward to seeing you there, and thanks for all your great help in the fire, which is appreciated by all. Thank you, John. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Um, just like to say that uh, Channel 4 News, although we basically are sometimes light-hearted, this is the first time we've been involved with a serious event, 
and we like to feel that we've covered it uh, the best way we could. So this is the Colonel uh, taking you back to the studio right now. Thank you, Captain Bradford. The new show which the crew staff had been rehearsing for six weeks finally was presented to our passengers last Friday. The show is called La Chansons de Paris and was a huge success. The only problem now is that Tony Martin and Dave Pickerel have only a few days to rehearse the new show.